In this module, we will study fluid flow and the application of numerical methods to fluid flow phenomenon. The 3D CFD analysis that we will study is that of a bathroom faucet. Faucets should provide enough hot water to sanitize during washing without scalding the person. So there is a minimum hot water temperature to achieve the sanitation. There is also a small range of temperatures for the water leaving the faucet to stay within the comfort temperature range. To achieve both of these standards, faucet manufacturers use mixing valves inside the faucet to mix the hot water with the cold water so that the water stream leaving the faucet will not be too hot in some places and too cold in others. The goal is to have as close to a single temperature across the water stream as possible. A CAD assembly for the faucet was built in Inventor. The assembly shows the mixing valve as hidden lines on the left and the actual valve is shown on the right. The goal of the CFD analysis is to improve the design of this mixer. We will start with the CFD preprocessing task. Create the new design study from the inventor assembly. Then we can edit the geometry. This is to aid in the mesh sizing for the, the, the safety analysis. We'll begin by merging the edges. This step is rarely skipped. Check for small objects and remove those extra edges too. Finally, the CAD model only has the solid objects that make up the faucet. We need cr to create the fluid volume that is contained by these solids. We do this by capping all of the openings in the solid CAD model and filling the void that is created by the now cap space inside. So we choose the outside edge of the openings and create a surface. The edges have to form an enclosed surface. After all of the openings have been capped, click the fill void button and this will create a new volume or part for the model. Assign copper to the pipe body, and then ABS molded to the mixing valve or the divider. There is now a new part that was created by Autodesk CFD when we did the void fill operation. This CFD created volume should be assigned as a fluid, specifically water. Since Autodesk CFD applies the wall boundary condition by default, we only need to specify the opening boundary conditions. Note that in this model there are a lot of wall surfaces. That is why Autodesk CFD applies this condition internally. There are three openings in the model. I'm going to begin by assigning a pressure of zero to the outlet where it is exposed to atmospheric conditions. Then we can assign a volume flow rate of 1.5 GPM to the cold water inlet. We will also specify a temperature of 45 degrees for this opening. For the hot water opening, we're going to assign a volume flow rate of 2 GPM. It's gallons per minute.
Here we will also assign a temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. There are a number of boundary conditions that are specific to heat transfer. Temperature is straightforward. Film coefficients are applied to external surfaces or walls to model the convection of heat to or from the exterior environment. For film coefficient boundary conditions, you need to specify the film coefficient and the ambient temperature. The heat flux is the heat per unit area that is striking an external surface or wall. The total heat flux is the total heat striking an exterior surface or wall. The radiation boundary condition is used to simulate the radiation heat transfer to and from an exterior surface. Here you would specify the emissivity of the exterior surface and the reference temperature for some exterior surface or environment. In order to include heat transfer in the CFD simulation, the temperature has to be fixed or specified somewhere in the simulation model. This can be accomplished either by assigning the temperature or by specifying a film coefficient with an ambient temperature. For the faucet, we are ignoring any heat transfer to the environment as there is not much exterior surface area for heat transfer to occur. Hence, we only need to specify the temperatures of the fluid. Now that we have the materials and boundary conditions defined, we are ready to mesh. Autodesk CFD automatically creates the finite element mesh, that is, it discretizes the geometry that is required to do the CFD calculations. The CFD mesher assigns element sizes based on local edge lengths. Where the edges are small, the elements are small. Where these small edges are is also the location of the largest gradients. Thus, the smaller elements should be here. The final step in the pre-processing setup is to set the analysis parameters. For the solution physics, the red values are the default values. We have to turn on heat transfer for this analysis because we want to see what the temperature of the water leaving the faucet will be. We also want to see how well the mixing valve mixes the cold and hot water. Once we turn on heat transfer, we have the option to turn on auto force convection. This option turns on some controls to speed up the heat transfer calculations. We are now ready to solve this analysis. However, before we hit the solve button, Let's set up more of the design study. When all of the scenarios and designs have been added to the design study, we can queue up the solve processes for each of them. Each safety analysis in the de design study is called a scenario. These scenarios can be renamed and cloned. Renaming allows you to name the safety analysis with something identifiable for future reference. Cloning allows you to copy the CFD analysis into a new analysis and change a design parameter to understand the effect this parameter may have on the performance or design. Designs can also be cloned and updated with new CAD geometry so you can compare geometric design changes as well. Now that we have cloned our scenario, we are ready to solve all of the CFD analyses. We can right click on each of the scenarios and hit solve, and the CFD solver will execute each CFD analysis in chronological order. We will post press the results of these solutions in the next module. This concludes our video of this 3D CFD analysis setup. We will post process these results in the next video.